curious about what happened behind the scenes of the 1979 war film Apocalypse Now, get ready for a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and sad facts about the movie. The production faced a typhoon, a heart attack, and Martin Sheen's struggles. Did you know that? There's more to uncover, so keep watching. Now, let me ask you, are there any little known facts or stories about this movie that captivate you? We're about to spill some beans, but we'd love to hear your insights too. As you explore the world of Apocalypse Now, think about your favorite memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem. Share your stories and memories in the comments below, we're all ears. Embark on a journey behind the lens of one of the most memorable war films. It's got humor, shock, and sadness Apocalypse Now has it all. And remember, we want to hear from you. What's your story? An in-depth exploration of the Vietnam War, Apocalypse Now stands out in its genre. Based on Joseph Conrad's novella, Heart of Darkness, director Francis Ford Coppola crafts a narrative that stays true to its source while offering a unique perspective. The story follows an army captain, portrayed by Martin Sheen, haunted by war's traumas, assigned a mission to locate and eliminate a renegade Green Beret colonel. Coppola's bold direction, accompanied by a chilling musical score, immerses viewers in the horrors of the Vietnam War. The journey up a river, metaphorically described as a snake in Conrad's novella, serves as a powerful backdrop to explore themes surrounding the morality of war, soldier treatment, and the government's perspective on the troops. The film's opening, featuring a haunting blend of REM and the jungle erupting in flames, sets a powerful tone. Despite the film's ambitious production and impeccable locations, Sheen's portrayal of the captain appears somewhat uncertain. The supporting cast, including Marlon Brando, Robert Duvall, Sam Bottoms, Dennis Hopper, and Frederick Forrest, delivers strong performances, injecting strength into the narrative. Apocalypse now exudes a look of genius, yet at times it seems to lose Coppola's distinctive directorial identity amid the vast and chaotic production. The film, a war epic with moments of visual brilliance and ugliness, occasionally feels like a blindfolded boxer throwing punches in the dark. In conclusion, it's a thought-provoking war film delving into the complexities of human nature, morality, and the consequences of conflict. While it may not align with everyone's taste, its depth and unique style contribute to its status as one of the most mesmerizing films ever created. In the intense and tumultuous production of the film Apocalypse Now, the character known as Chef delivers a memorable line, Never get out of the boat. This cautionary shout later echoes through the mouth of Captain Willard, played by Martin Sheen. Behind the scenes, director Francis Ford Coppola faced significant personal struggles, at times even threatening suicide during the making of the movie. The challenges of capturing the brutality of war took a toll on him, highlighting the emotional and psychological toll of the filmmaking process. Interestingly, the IMAX poster for Kong Skull Island pays homage to the original one sheet of Apocalypse Now. This subtle nod reflects the lasting influence of Coppola's war epic on subsequent cinematic works, showcasing its impact on the film industry. In Apocalypse Now, the adaptation of Joseph Conrad's novella, Heart of Darkness, stands as a profound exploration of the Vietnam War. Martin Sheen portrays an army captain haunted by the traumas of war, assigned a mission to eliminate a renegade Green Beret colonel. The movie's narrative, guided by Coppola's bold direction, immerses viewers in the horrors of the conflict, with a chilling musical score enhancing the experience. The supporting cast, featuring Marlon Brando, Robert Duvall, Sam Bottoms, Dennis Hopper, and Frederick Forrest, delivers compelling performances that inject strength into the narrative. Despite moments of visual brilliance, the vast and chaotic production occasionally overshadows Coppola's distinctive directorial identity. The film's opening, marked by a haunting blend of REM and the jungle erupting in flames, sets a powerful tone. While the movie may not align with everyone's taste, its thought-provoking exploration of human nature, morality, and the consequences of conflict solidify its status as one of the most mesmerizing films ever created. In summary, with its raw portrayal of war and exploration of profound themes, the movie has left a lasting impression on cinematic history. The challenges faced during its production only add to the legend of this impactful war film. During the chaotic making of Apocalypse Now, there was an unexpected change in the editing team. Originally, Barry Malkin, the chosen editor, left early. However, his idea brought Richard Marks into the editing process, which greatly influenced the final movie. Controversy arose during the filming when a water buffalo was killed. 
In the DVD commentary, director Francis Ford Coppola played down his involvement, saying it was about capturing a native ritual. However, insights from the cast and crew revealed that the director orchestrated the scene with the Fugao natives chanting and singing while he provided the animals for slaughter. Despite ordering many animals, only one water buffalo's death made it into the final cut of the film. Dean Tavularis played a crucial role in creating the war documentary Look Through Production Design. His work set the stage for the intense narrative, contributing to the film's visual impact. These aspects, from the editing team changes to controversial filming choices and the detailed production design, give us a peek into the various challenges faced in bringing this war epic to life. The behind-the-scenes details show the complexities of filmmaking, with each decision leaving a lasting impression on the final cinematic picture. As the production dealt with storms, personal challenges, and creative decisions, Apocalypse now stands as proof of the resilience of its creators. The film's raw portrayal of war and exploration of profound themes solidify its place as one of the most captivating pieces in movie history. Set against the backdrop of the Vietnam War, the intensity of the movie draws from real-life events, incorporating the phrase terminate with extreme prejudice, a euphemism for killing originating from the Green Beret case in 1969. The parallel between Colonel Kurtz's actions and the controversial murder trial involving a North Vietnamese asset adds authenticity to the narrative. An innovation in cinematic technology, it became the first film to utilize the 70mm Dolby Stereo surround sound system. This cutting-edge audio experience heightened the immersive quality of the war epic, setting a new standard in the industry. While the temporal setting remains ambiguous, a newspaper article in the movie referencing the Charles Manson trial places the events post-November 1969. This detail adds a historical anchor, subtly connecting the fictional narrative to a real-world timeline. The movie's production intricacies include a noteworthy change in the editing team, introducing Richard Marks. The controversial scene involving the killing of a water buffalo orchestrated by the director stirred controversy. Insights revealed that the director played down his involvement, framing it as capturing a native ritual, while the cast and crew shed light on the director's active role in orchestrating the scene. Through production design, Dean Tevularis played a pivotal role in creating the war documentary look, contributing to its visual impact. As the production grappled with storms, personal challenges, and creative decisions, it stands as a challenging journey in filmmaking. In conclusion, the movie's raw portrayal of war and exploration of profound themes, coupled with its technological advancements and historical nuances, solidify its place as a significant piece in cinematic history. The challenges faced during its production contribute to the legend of this impactful war film.